friends, today we are shopping the Dollar Tree for some canvases and wall art that we can give upgrades to using some fun hacks and DIY ideas to make these over into something beautiful. A huge thank you to Miss Play for sponsoring today's video. I'll have more information on them later on in the video. Please leave me a big thumbs up and let's go ahead and get on into it. For this first project, I wanted to go with the largest canvas that I could find, and all I could really find are these large flat ones that are 11 by 14 inches. They are a really great size to craft with, make the perfect wall art. So for this, I had a really fun idea. I actually love it so much that I put it in the first two projects, but for this one, I'm taking this large canvas and I'm covering the edges with painter's tape. So I'm making like a border, and then I'm going to take spray paint, go ahead and fill in the center, and then the real magic here is removing the painter's tape and just barely spritzing the edges so it gives it a really cool effect. So I go ahead and tape off a couple of them, take it outside, really put a nice generous amount in the center, making sure that you do press the painter's tape down in the middle. You can see that it tried to pop up there so that it's not leaking out onto the edges. And then while it's still wet, I like to go ahead so I don't have to wait on dry time, go ahead and remove that painter's tape. And then like I mentioned, lightly spritzing it over the top so it just falls down in a little pretty drizzle. It makes it absolutely gorgeous. I love this. I just, I love this so much that I did do it in the next project as well, even the same color. I just kept doing it. So I was addicted to it, but I want to try this in more colors. I think it is just the cutest thing. Add so much detail without putting in a ton of effort. And then to dress this up to look like real home decor, I was blown away with finding these huge wooden branch pieces. They're, they're like 3D laser cut wood pieces um, at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. I go ahead and remove the tags. It has this little hole the top that you could fill in but I didn't even want to mess it up with wood filler I just attached these with some hot glue literally a project that I put together in like less than 15 minutes and the cutest thing you could take the time to make a border for these I'm gonna leave them plain and just make them simple but a fun way to make over these plain Jane canvases into something that you could actually use And then here's the second canvas that I want to make doing the same thing spritzing the middle or really filling in the center and then just spritzing the edges with the little like overspray look effect so I really like how this turned out now I'm gonna do something here that I know a lot of people will not love but it's just something kind of trendy and really pretty and kind of popular out right now I'm seeing a lot on Pinterest signs that like I'm even seeing this on like people are putting this on the walls but um, I'm seeing signs where you use the same color letter as the backing. Now, first up, I had this little pack of wooden or their MDF letters from Hobby Lobby. And you can see that I really struggled to find to find something to say on here because you only got like one letter of the most popular letters. So I'm not really sure. I only had one Y, so I couldn't write what I originally wanted to. And then I was going to put Cherish and there wasn't another H. So I decided to go with Let's Stay Home. I played with it for quite a while, figuring out some something where I didn't have to repeat the letters and then I'm sticking this little wooden tulip on there from from Dollar Tree I go ahead and arrange them and glue them down as straight as I could I did not get them perfect I didn't even worry about it but the fun thing here is that I'm going to take this back outside and spray paint over the letters and the flower so that everything is one color like I say, I don't expect everyone to love this. It's just something that's kind of been trendy and I think it gives it a really cool effect. I'm going to keep playing around with it and seeing if I can find this or try to make something in different versions to where I love it. But it is something really neat and just something different. So definitely give it a try. You could do this with so many different like 3D wood pieces just to give them new life. Especially if you're like shopping at the thrift store. It would be easy to find like something like shallow and wooden that you could easily attached to a sign and spray over it but I just thought this was really cute I did end up adding a little bow to the flower stem just to give it a little pop of something and it didn't look plain Jane but let me know in the comments down below is this something that you would try or you think that you need to paint those letters a different color
While we are talking all about canvases and painting, have you ever tried painting like color by number on your phone? It's really fun and relaxing. This is Hey Color Paint by Number Art and I just really enjoy it. But the best, most exciting part is that you can actually earn rewards just by playing new fun games just like this one on your phone just by downloading Misplay. A huge thank you to Misplay for sponsoring today's video. If you've never heard of Misplay, it is an incredible app that lets you find a ton of new games and start earning points that you can redeem for gift cards like real gift cards to places you'll actually want to shop like Starbucks, Walmart, Target, Amazon and Visa gift cards. Whether you love puzzle games, simulation games, word, strategy games, they have tons to choose from. Right now my favorite game is Wordscapes. I'm literally earning points to word gift cards for laying in the bed at night and just having fun with puzzle games and it's so much more fun to me than a regular word search. You can see that I'm already so close to another five dollars worth of gift cards. I'm definitely going to put that towards another cup of coffee because that's what I love but I just open Miss Play, go to shop, click on the gift card that I want and confirm my order. If this sounds just as incredible to you and you want to earn back some gift cards, you can do so by going to MissPlay.com slash Caitlin, that's K-A-T-E-L-Y-N, and you'll receive 200 bonus points for signing up today. And if you use my code Caitlin50 inside the app, you download the app and use the code Caitlin50, you will receive an extra 50 bonus points on top of that, and all of that can go towards your first gift card. Now without further ado, let's go ahead and get back into crafting. Okay, so another fun project. I'm using two of these canvases and I'm going to go ahead, I remove the packaging and just paint a little bit of a backing on there before I add a fun like vinyl decal. So what I wanted to do was add some paint. Now this is a celery color, I'm pretty sure, or you could use the darker moss green color, but I'm just using some of that mixed with a little bit of water to thin it down because I wanted more of like a watercolor effect. And then using this little sponge paintbrush, I go ahead and I I really want this like you to be able to tell that this was applied with a paintbrush not trying to get it perfect so trying to emphasize on the strokes on the edges but I did go over this a couple of times to really make sure it shows up. And then I'm going towards my Cricut in the Cricut design space. I pick out a couple of little vine designs that I like. They kind of coordinate with each other, but they're different and measure the canvases about how big that I want them to be and go ahead and cut those out. Now Dollar Tree has tons of stickers and decals if you don't want to use a Cricut, but I do find it really fun, especially like getting to pick the colors. I thought black would show up really nice on these, especially for what I do to these towards the end. I wanted to add a backing so they coordinate really nicely with the design on the front. I weeded these with my weeding tool and then I removed the extra vinyl with my weeding tool and then go ahead and use transfer tape to get them onto the canvas. You could do a coat of Mod Podge over the top of them if you like. I I just left them as is for now but this is what makes this so pretty I think is picking up a couple of these large wooden signs from the Dollar Tree these are the Dollar Tree plus three dollar signs and paint them black to be coordinating attach the canvas in there and it really just elevates this look Okay, so maybe you don't want to start from scratch and make your own decor, but you just want to upgrade something that's already painted for you. I love looking through Dollar Tree's wall art canvases that are already like printed. They look so pretty. This is like a vintage style picture with some lavender floral pieces in there, and I just wanted to frame it in a really cool, unique way. So this is really pretty simple to do. I just pick up some wood pieces. I am using the larger flat piece for the bottom so that it will like stand 
stand up nice and steady without tipping over all the time. And then taking the thicker pieces and these were already cut like this. So just play around with this in the store. But if you do need to cut anything, I do love using my yellow miter box and saw that I picked up from Walmart. It makes it so easy just to hand saw down these little pieces. But this fits really nice. It's not perfect. There's a little bit of an overhang at the top, but I just take advantage of that and try to center it so I don't have to make the cut. Glue all of these together. You could use wood glue if you have a little bit more time, but I love just hot gluing things together. I sand this down just to make sure it doesn't have any pieces hanging off so it looks a little bit more finished, remove the tags, and then come in and paint this with some mineral color paint. So after I get this painted, I let it completely dry and then sand over it a little bit just so some of the raw wood shows through and it looks a little bit distressed. I want it to match and coordinate with the actual painting itself. But this is kind of floating in there. It's not a snug fit, so I needed to attach this. So using some tower blocks, I just glued this in place. This is such a fun way to display canvas art. It makes it look like so much more than just a cheap dollar store piece but actually putting that frame on there makes it look like it is absolutely made for it but I just think this is a fun way that you could display like any canvas that you think catches your eye. So I have used these stickers before. They come from Dollar Tree in the, cra in the Crafter Square, but I used to put them around a vase just to add that pop of greenery, but they're so detailed and like perfectly cut out that I thought it would be fun to paint over them and use them more as a stencil. So using another one of these signs, whenever I see these signs, I just grab like 10 of them because I use them all the time. They are so nice. Once again, I love how the backing comes off and they're so easy to make over. So for this I did decide to paint the backing white because I am going to be putting those stickers down and then painting over them with some of my I think this was celery colored green paint but it looks really pretty I was able just to play around with the stickers place them in different directions but just trying to make it look all nice and even so this makes a gorgeous backdrop I did notice that these stickers try to like rip in half every time that I pick them up. I didn't notice this the last time that I used them, but tried to make everything look nice and even and place it back together where you couldn't tell it was broken. And then painting two coats of this green color. Once again, I think this is Celery by Waverly Chalk Paints. I usually pick mine up at Walmart. I get asked that question a lot. And then after I pulled all the stickers up, I let this completely dry, and then taking the same color because I want this to be a subtle backdrop, I didn't want to add any like harsh black lines or anything, but taking the same green color and just adding in some little veins in these leaves and making them look just a tiny bit more realistic so they're just not like white blank spaces. I didn't worry about getting this perfect at all. Some of it, I just kind of rub some green in there, but I feel like it just adds, just, I don't know, helps it out so much when it's not just like big white shapes of leaves and makes it look a lot nicer. After this completely dried, I put it back in the frame and I kind of was overthinking this. Do I want to put a word on there? Do I want to leave it plain? But I thought it looked really cool just stacked up on a table like this. Adds a lot of texture, but looks really gorgeous, especially with my new little pressed flower frame. I think it's so funny that now it's just kind of normal to decorate your house with toilet plungers or using them in different ways. But for this, I picked up one plunger from the Dollar Tree as well as a canvas. And for this project, I most of the time use the canvas wood pieces whenever I'm cutting this off. But today I'm actually just using the canvas itself. So this is really fun because I haven't really used that a lot. Even when I made a canvas video, I didn't really have a lot of ideas for the canvas. So this is just for that. Um, I th thought it would be fun to find a creative way to use canvas for wall decor or just small decor pieces 
don't worry, in this video I am going to be putting that wooden canvas piece to use coming up in the next project, but for this I just removed the top or the bottom of the plunger, removed the label, I cut off the threads that was holding on the rubber piece, got rid of that, and then just kind of eyeballed how big I needed this to be or how wide that my sign was going to be, so just kind of held it in place and made two pieces exactly the same size. I wanted this to kind of look like a scroll, so I'm going to be wrapping the top and the bottom or rolling them up on these, I'm calling them dowel rods, but you know, like the toilet plunger handle, the wood pieces, and I just kind of marked enough canvas, like or I marked it on the canvas so that I'll have enough space that you can see the wooden pieces sticking out the top and the bottom. So I... I wanted the white piece to be in the front and then I love how whenever you like fold it over the cream is coming on the front too so it's just adding in that extra color extra detail but after I got everything cut down to size I'm just putting a, a line of hot glue and then rolling up these rods on the top and the bottom I did like to run that little piece of popsicle stick along the inside just to make sure that none of the hot glue was pouring out. And then was the fun part to decorate it. Dollar Tree has tons of fun stickers out right now, even these big ones. So I loved this little coffee set. I loved the butt first coffee, so I thought this would be really cute. I have like a little shelf that has hooks on it that I hang like coffee mugs on, so I thought it would be really fun to put on there. So I needed a rectangle shape, so I thought that it would be fun to put this like container down. I thought it was neat that it was clear and just like traced around that. Now you can see I didn't get it perfect um, so I just tried to thicken up the line so they all match that one on the left as well as straighten them up where I accidentally kind of curved too much around the edges and I don't know just try to make it more bold. Stuck the sticker down in the middle and then just added some dots just for some fun flair. I wanted to make this just a super simple piece, so tying a piece of jute string on both sides and that created like a little hanger. You could add some greenery to one side, but I decided to leave it as is. I think it looks so pretty and plain and just neutral, but also has like a ton of dimension and just really cute. Like I promised, I wanted to use the remainder of this canvas, so I went ahead and cut away all of the excess canvas pieces, but then I decided that wasn't enough, so I did take my wire cutters, and I feel like that's super easy to remove these staples. I'm able just to kind of dig down in the wood and pull them out, and that just leaves me with the perfect wood frame. I needed a backing for my sign, so I'm using more popsicle sticks. They're just easy to work with, and it actually makes it look like little, like small shiplap, which is so cute to me. So I started by painting all of these popsicles white and then flipping them over and then gluing them to the back of the canvas. I did have to trim like the tiniest bit off of both ends just to make sure it wasn't going to overhang on the back of the canvas. And then I did start by like putting glue on the front of the popsicle sticks and attaching it. But then I felt like the glue was kind of coming out of the like front of the sign. So then I started laying down the sticks and just trying to put glue over the top of the back. And then I picked up just a coordinating little frame. This is a Valentine sign and I wanted to glue the like front of this oven mitt down inside. So I know that's silly whenever you look at oven mitts or um, pot holders, you don't think about stealing like the image from the front of them. 
but I thought it would be really cute to make like a just a neutral kitchen sign. I have lots of shelves in the kitchen. It's just fun to really dress them up. So I picked up this Bless This Kitchen, cut off the top and the bottom, and pulled it apart. And then another fun hack to get all of that hot glue mess out of the front, I just heated up the pieces that the hot glue was kind of oozing out, took a popsicle stick and kind of mashed all of that down or kind of pulled it all smooth and then glued this sign down in the middle and I feel like it gives it so much dimension while keeping it a fun neutral sign and this will be something that you can set with other pieces and really dress it up. Thank you all so much for checking out today's video. Don't forget about misplay.com slash Caitlin, and you can receive 200 bonus points for downloading Misplay today. Also, another 50 bonus points if you download the app and use the code Caitlin50 inside the app. So don't forget about that. Also, let me know in the comments down below which project was your favorite, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy crafting. Bye.